But please welcome on stage your next act. It's the awesome, it's the fantastic Lost Voice Guy! <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, are you all very well? Yes! It's great to be here. No, really. <laughs> it's a miracle I made it up all the hills in one piece. I do realize that it is pretty ironic that a disabled comedian is playing one of the most inaccessible cities in the world. <laughs> I did invite some of my friends who use wheelchairs to the gig for a laugh. The lazy bastards haven't turned up yet. <laughs> Just be careful outside in case any of them are trying to crawl up a hill. <laughs> I guess I better start by introducing myself, because one or two of you are looking very confused. <laughs> Believe it or not, my name isn't really Lost Voice Guy. My parents were never mean enough to do something like that. At least that's what they told me to say, whenever the nice lady from social services visited. <laughs> anyway, my real name is Lee, and it's nice to meet you all. I got the nickname, Lost Voice Guy, while I was at school. It was a very cruel thing, to call me, I know. It really knocked my confidence, and I hardly ever went out in the playground, because of it. But the teachers insisted on calling me it. <laughs> if only they could see me now. Of course, they can't. Because I went to school a long time ago, and they're all dead. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to be the token disabled comedian. <laughs> and I'm here to take some boxes and make you all feel awkward. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I got the train to the gig today. I always like to sit in those seats for disabled people. It's just easier to get off. Anyway, I was in that seat and was about halfway here when another disabled person got on and asked me to move. I'll be honest, I didn't realize I'd be playing disabled, top, trumps when I got on or I would have dressed more special. <laughs> Needless to say I didn't move. Who cares if he was both blind and deaf? I was there first. It was very awkward. He couldn't see that I was still there. And I couldn't tell him I wasn't moving because I can't speak. He wouldn't have heard me anyway. In the end I had to throw his guide dog a stick I didn't mean for them to end up under the train. I hate that we have so many politically correct words to describe disabled people now. When I went to school, I honestly went to a school with spastics in its name. They certainly knew how to make us feel good about ourselves. Now it's all special needs, special schools, Special Olympics. I don't know what is so special about me. That is why it always alarms me when I hear about special forces going to war. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed laughing at a disabled man. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>